Normally, the way things play out in American politics is that Republicans attack, Democrats retreat. So in this case, Democrats attacked Mitt Romney's record at Bain, and they said, look, he's got these documents uh, that are contradictory. In fact, Stephanie Cutter, who works for the Obama camp, came out and said, well, look, if uh, he signed forms that are contradictory, it is a federal offense, it is a felony. Now, everybody lost to this, how could you? You know, these are revered politicians. This is a head of the Republican Party now running for president. You cannot say this, whether it's true or not true. Remember, politicians are above the law. How dare you mention felony? Now, when that happens, normally the Democratic reaction would be to back down. I've seen that happen only a million times. Not this time. Stephanie Cutter goes on Face the Nation, is asked about it. Here's her response. If you're signing an SEC document with your own signature that you're the president, CEO, chairman of the board, and 100% owner of a company, in what world are you living in that you're not in charge? What American understands that you don't bear any responsibility for the decisions that were made at that company if you're at the head of it? If he wasn't the head of it, who was? <laughs> and the simple point is, if you're telling the SEC that you're in charge, but you're telling the American people that you bear no responsibility, one of those things is not true. Damn, she said it again. And she's like, look, I didn't come here to play. Now, what's going to happen when Mitt Romney complains about this? Well, Stephanie Cutter has an answer for that, too. Well, he's, gonna get an apology. he's not going to get an apology. You know, it's interesting. Just a few months ago in the Republican primary, Mitt Romney said to his opponents, who he was crushing at the time, stop whining. And I think that's a good message uh, for the Romney campaign. Instead of whining about what the Obama campaign is saying, why don't you just put the facts out there and let people decide rather than trying to hide them? The tax returns is exactly just about that. If, you know, if he didn't gain any tax advantages from having investments in the Cayman Islands, Bermuda, and a Swiss bank account, then show us. Show the American people. What's what, what is it that you're hiding? What's oh my God, who is this Democratic Party? I don't recognize them at all. Hey, she is, she is, are you crying? Is that what Mitch doing? Remember when he told his Republican opponents to stop crying when he started destroying them? Well, it's time for you to stop crying. Get us sick then. I love it. Okay, so Kevin Madden, a spokesperson now for the Romney campaign. Look at this. Now that they're on back on their heels, I think he's making a, a mistake here. I'm going to tell you what that mistake is after we listen. Either he was the CEO or he wasn't. Why would he have signed his name to those documents? Well, look, well, look first I think it is very troubling that the president would direct his campaign to label someone like Governor Romney, who is a very good and honorable man, as a felon. I think yeah, that is very troubling. I think that, and I will get to that point. I think, is, that, I think that is very troubling. I think what is equally disappointing is that the, is that the, the Obama campaign con continues to focus on these attacks, even though fact-checked after fact-checked, investigative journalist after investigative journalist has shown that Governor Romney left Bain in 1999. So what's the critical mistake there? I mean, it's as if they haven't heard anything about framing. Who's this Republican Party that doesn't know what's going on and how to play politics? Because the, you can't repeat what their charges are. Because all it does is for the casual observer, it reinforces it in their mind. Here's the Republican spokesperson saying, felon, felon, felony, I can't believe they called him a felon. Anybody walking away from that segment is going to think, oh, I wonder if Mitt Romney's a felon. Republicans normally don't make these kind of mistakes, but Madden's not alone. Wait till you get a load of Karl Rove. Now, he's going to say something hilarious in here, too, but he also makes the same mistake. Watch. The fact of the matter is, is that if the president continues to make this charge, this outrageous charge this campaign had that Rick Romney is, is guilty of felonious activity, he committed a felony, th that's a big mistake. Remember who's up for grabs in this election? Independent voters. They were drawn to Obama in 2008 because he was going to change politics and raise and elevate the political discourse. This is gutter politics of the worst Chicago sort. <laughs> Talking about gutter politics. That's a good one, girl. That's a good one. This is the same guy who did a whisper campaign against John McCain in the 2000 primaries in South Carolina, saying a push poll where they called people and asked them, would it make a difference to you if you knew that John McCain had an illegitimate black stepchild or black child? Okay, he in fact has an adopted daughter from Bangladesh, right? That guy, Carl Rowe, talking about gutter politics. Now that's funny. But listen to the, what he's doing in the beginning. Again, the same mistake. Oh, oh, you know, you better not 
do talk about him being a felon because oh you know that's you're going to alienate centrists now that's how they used to intimidate democrats in the past and then democrats would believe them like idiots and be like oh, oh okay then let me not do that anymore but you're not dealing with the same old democrats apparently these guys have a couple of blow torches and a lead pipe and you're going to work on your homes you missed the memo so here you are on television repeating the charges mitt romney felon mitt romney felon nobody remembers the answer all they remember is the question Carl Rove making framing mistakes. Wow, what in the world is going on? And then they bring on Axelrod on a different program. So are you going to apologize for this? I love his smart ass answer. Watch. If he was in fact not the, uh, the, the, the chief executive, the president, the, uh, the sole shareholder and chairman of the company at the time, and that's what was filed, that that would be uh, a felony. She didn't say he's right. a felon. No, no, uh, I'm asking and you. So, she so said that, 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 but that, but that's entire, entirely different. I, uh, but the point is different. that uh, he. Oh, the, the the point is that he was the, the 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 person of record in charge of the company, the sole owner and shareholder of the company. Now it may be that he's misleading people now when he says I had nothing to do with it. So I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt and say those uh, documents were accurate and what he's telling the people. Uh, the American people now is not. I love that. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt that he's lying now as opposed to earlier, which would be a felony. Now, I didn't call him a felon. I just said, said it would be a felony. I didn't say he's a liar then. I said he might be a liar now. How do you like that apology? <laughs> okay. Who switched the two parties while I wasn't looking? All right, you think you're not that's bad? Wait till you get a load of Rahm Emanuel. They've even got Rahm Emanuel doing effective politics. Man, this must be bizarro world. All right, watch Rahm lay the hammer down on Romney. He has released only one year. To the McCain campaign, he released 23 years. And he's telling the American people, I'm not going to give you what I've given John McCain's people in 2008. And when he gave them 23 years, John McCain's people looked at it and said, let's go with Sarah Palin. So whatever's in there is far worse than just the first year. Suplex! <laughs> Stone Cold Stutter! Oh no! He broke their necks! Come on! Now look, I have to confess that I like that line because I use it on Friday's show on Current. It's okay, Rom, you can borrow it. Okay, but nonetheless, look, when Democrats are making the same kind of tough political points that we make on the Young Turks, then you know you're in a whole different world. What happened to these guys? How did they get so good in politics all of a sudden? All of a sudden, Democrats are the tough guys, and the Republicans are the crying, uh, you know, losers who are crying into their skirts. <laughs> oh my God! I can't believe how bad Obama hit us. It hurts so much.